Good morning guys, it's already 5.46 in the morning and this is how I usually do my um, makeup routine in the morning. That's it. I already had my primer and all I just have to do is apply the foundation. This is so liquidy as you can see, I will show you. And I don't even like use a lot of product though. So a lot of my colleagues are asking for using or I'm wearing makeup every day when I do. I can't really tell whenever I'm putting makeup on my skin. darker one. I'm just putting that the darker one. Just a little bit. Hey. Sometimes, especially in winter, uh, you don't really have like a fixed uh, complexion. Sometimes you get darker or lighter and therefore I prefer using two different types of foundation um, in the color and then just mix that up and that's it. I will first wait to set that and while waiting for that to set then I will go on with my my eyebrows and just typical makeup you could use different product if you wish to so this is normally for the eyelid and I'm using this one as well for my It, distribute it. I'm not really like focusing on the eyebrows itself. I just want to have some definition, and therefore, because my eyebrows are not that thick, and I just want to specify that. apply a loose powder this is a normal loose powder I just use this um, the container as a dispenser but this is basically a baby powder so this is very light I don't really feel like putting so much in my face even though I did them So these are palettes of or 
a palette of different shades. I can use whatever I want to. And I have this from Take Care Max in Mannheim. And just put it on. Smash it in there on your face. Run it over on the uh, different tint of blush. That's it. Look a little bit in my eyelid. And for work, I'm just preferring to like, go for. tone or new color so I love mixing like makeup lipstick say for instance I do mix that up I'm just not using like, one shade at once and same as in my on my eyelid Good with that. Wanted to like put a a tinted brow mascara just to make it sure that my eyebrow went basically. And then whatever it is. Too much, and I'll just I'll just remove it with the Q-tip or with a cover stick. I'm not so specific when it comes to me, so I'm just using whatever. As you can see, it's almost empty, but I still keep using to simply use it for my eyebrow. My eyebrow, and again, you can always do some correction if needed to. And later at work, I will just remove my bun, or maybe not, depends because I have to work like. An hour and a half to get to work, and so I don't like my hair all, all over my face whenever I'm driving. I just wanted to have it fixed, and normally I just have a bun. Um, this is an SPF uh, lip cream or something. And every day I do use sunblock. This is the sunblock I'm using. I don't know if I got it for a trial. And it is SPF 20. SPF 20. So, I'm almost done. I just have to, I just wanted to define it. Put some eyeliner. Hey. 
different ladies. It feels like it feels like So the mascara I'm using, I'm not so brand specific. The mascara that I'm using, I just bought it from from Aldi, which I'm very happy about it, but because it doesn't like, I can wear it all day without this melting. You know those mascara that at the end of the day you don't have like mascara all over your face, and this is not the the case for this one this is the core curl very affordable so simply that's that's basically it and last thing is my lipstick And now one more, one more thing. This is a strobing liquid, like. This is applying the chick area. And like in the nose part, just to have that sheen. Some people ask me, did you have a uh, nose job? Like, if I had a nose job, I wouldn't have this small nose anymore. It's just basically makeup, my dear. Nothing more and nothing less. And that's it. <laughs>